What is the difference between programs, functions and function blocks? If we do a right click on our application and select POU, we can create a new program, function block or function. In this case, I will create a program with the name PRG and the implementation language, I will choose function block diagram. I've presented all the different implementation languages in the last video. Here we can see the usual editor. So our program has different variables. The variables are assigned to a specific address in the memory and so we can create assignments in our program to work with them. Since the program is our main part of the application, we need to make sure that it's being called correctly. There's two ways how we can call a program. This is either by calling it in another program. So here we can call it by just doing PRG and then brackets, or you can better call it in a task. If you create an application, you already have one task always already assigned, which is this one here. It is calling the PLC PRG cyclic, you can see it right here, with an interval of 50 milliseconds. It is also having a priority, so if you have several tasks, they can decide which task is being called first on your CPU. This one has a priority of 15, so a very low priority. If we have program code, which we have to call more than once, it makes sense to create a function or function block. So again, we'll do a new PUU, and this time we select function. The function always has a return value, which in this case I will select to be a real. We can see already that the function fc is of the type real now, which means that this is the return value. It also comes with input variables, which the program didn't have. And we can, for example, define a value r1 as real and r2 as real, which then we can use to calculate our output. So fc is equal in this case, I would create just R1 plus R2 divided by 2. Also, we can define internal variables here. So R temp, I will name this one. These variables can be used to calculate our function value, but they are not stored. So those variables will be gone for the next call of the function. If we want to call the function, we can just go to our program and then we take a new function block and call the function fc. You can see that the inputs here are being requested and it will give one output. Other examples for functions are just the simple end or the string function concat, which combines two strings to one. If we have program code which requires an internal memory of variables, then we need to create a function block instead. For the function block, you can see that we have way more things we can select here, but those are mainly for object oriented programming. So we can just define this function block like this. This function block has no return value as the function just had, but instead it has besides the input variables, so again, our one, and R2, in my case, output variables, which I would just name R3 and R4. Again, this has internal variables, so R temp we can define. And this is now a variable which will keep its value even for the next cycles. In order to do this, a function block always has to have an instance. So if we go back to our program here, and select now our function block, you can see that it requests a name. In this case, we'll just name it fb1, which then brings up the auto declare. So fb1 of the type fb, and if we hit okay, we can see that this function block is now part of the variables of our program. And so it is also located in the memory of the controller. Other examples for function blocks that are quite frequently used are timer function blocks, or counters. 
If you want to find out which function blocks you can use, you can just use either F2 if you're here on the name to bring up the input assistant or hit the three dots and then you can find all the function blocks for your program right here and all the programs and functions inside the module calls category.